Hi guys, how are you? My name is One Titanium. I'm going to do a quick little video and explain to you how fake MMT bullshits you. Okay? So, the number one thing to understand the center of the economic universe is production. Okay? People working and, and trading and doing all the things that requires for an economy to function. That's number one. That comes before printing. Printing is an afterthought. Okay? Printing is is designed the currency is designed to 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 just expedite things make it easier right like we have credit now you can go online and you can transfer money anywhere in the world um that's what money is for but what are they going to tell you they will tell you well where does money come from huh where, where does it come from first huh yeah but money <laughs> money is not the economy nobody sits around we, we, we don't all sit around and say well fuck we, you know we don't have to work. We can just have money from the government and, you know, we'll have an economy. Nobody producing. We'll just sit around and just, you know, give us some money. That's not the way it works, okay? But that's the way they start the whole entire argument. A few people go, oh, wow, yeah, the government prints first and they print from, from thin air. It's like a scoreboard on a football field, you know? Like, where'd you get the numbers, dude? Like, they're all fucking high, okay? So, um, I'm going to debunk all that bullshit and, um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to show you really simply that production is the household where the 95% reside. This is the productive economy. Of course, business is also part of the productive economy. Okay. Now the money, when it is printed after the economy is already established and everybody's doing their things and they say, you know what, we're not going to use fucking, uh, you know, tally sticks, we're going to use dollars, okay, whatever the, the, the case may be. Then you're going to, you know, you have a government, so you start to produce uh, a currency, all right? And then you, you take that currency and you, you say, okay, well, guess what? I'm going to give the currency to everybody. Now, this stupid HUD tax that everybody talks about, well, you know, uh, they went to Guam and uh, whatever the fuck, I don't know, Guyana, wherever the fuck they went, and, uh, you know, the British, and they forced them uh, to use uh, pounds, so they imposed a tax on all the HUDs, so they're going to burn the HUDs down. You know, that's the stupidest fucking thing in the world. Okay for an analogy just to show something, but that's not the way it works, okay? The entire Middle East doesn't tax. What happens? Nobody uses the, the, their currencies? Of course they do. So you don't give me this stupid thing, well, oh, you know, so everybody values the currency. It doesn't value shit, okay? Taxation doesn't value shit. It's production that values the currency. So the government introduces <clears throat> um, the euro. Let's say it's the euro. What happened in the euro in the 99, whatever? They came out and they said, tomorrow everybody's using the euro. Okay. <laughs> Here's my liras, my drachmas, whatever. Uh, like, give me some of those euros, right? That, that's all that happened. They didn't impose a tax and say, well, you have to use the euro and everybody's sitting around unproductive and saying, well, I hope the government spends before I can tax. All right. So if it spends, then I'll have work. If it doesn't spend, then, you know, I won't have work. Nobody sat around and said that. OK, so government debt equals private sector assets. Right. Government debt equals private sector assets are savings. OK, uh, no, no, that's not the way it works. Government debt, okay, it is spent into the functional economy, and this is the functional economy here for the most part, the 99%. Okay, not the businesses are not, of course they are. Okay, but I'm talking about the actual spending, the transactions, and so on, right? It's the functional the, uh, economy, and it's funded, right? The, the deficits are funding jobs, and then those dollars flow through the uh, economy. Okay, and they either get taxed back to be recirculated back into the functional economy or they end up in savings. Okay, when they end up in savings, they're going to end up in investment and they're going to invest in, let's say, stocks and then stock market is going to go up. That's why U.S. total debt and S&P 500 are going up together. That's the way that works. So uh, when the government says, look, I need to uh, deficit spend more next year, let's say I want to deficit spend a trillion dollars, I'm going to issue, they're going to issue bonds, and you know who they're going to go to, uh, to, to ask for money? They're going to go to the top 1%, the top 5%, and they're going to say, look, here's a bond, you give me your existing savings, 
and we'll take that money and then we're going to pump that money back into the functional economy. It's a recycling mechanism from savings. Okay? That's the way the government prints. It expands uh, the, the bonds. So when all these dollars are sitting in savings, okay, and then the government wants those dollars, it issues a bond, it gives an interest rate, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, it gives, <clears throat> it gives an interest rate, and then the savers give those dollars to the government. And then that money flows through the economy back into savings, okay, it's the same dollars, there's nothing, nothing has changed, and then they say, oh, look, I want to issue another dollar. Okay, good. So then they will borrow again from the sa from the savers. Okay, they will, the, the savers are going to give the dollars. And then again, it's going to flow through the functional economy. And it's going to go back into savings. And then they're going to say, okay, here's some more bonds. Here's some more bonds. Let me take those bonds, and then I'm going to go spend that again. Okay, that's the way it works. So here's the beauty of it, <clears throat> that... Fake MMT loves these sectoral balances, except the one that really determines where money ends up when it's deficit spent. And the best way to understand the two sectoral balances, household and business, is to start with profit. How does a business produce a profit, right, after expenses and taxations and everything? How do they do that? Well, it can only happen one way. The household must have an income to desave, desave, okay, and then that equals profits. And then those profits are going to turn into savings. And then those savings are not going to be put underneath the mattress. They will be invested. Okay. Now, some of it is going to be invested back into the functional economy. Okay. And the rest of it is going to go into stocks, bonds, real estate, and commodities. And that's the way it goes. This is a drain. It drains the savings, drain the functional economy. Just like taxes drain the functional economy. Okay? But taxes are going to be spent back into circulations. Savings do not have to go back into circulation. So what ends up happening is you're getting these deficits into the household and then, you know, in business, and then they turn into profits, and then those profits go into savings, and then those savings go into investment, and they go into the stock market, or they go back into bonds that are going to issue um, a, an interest rate. So when you have all these deficits that are getting stuck into asset prices, you're going to get asset price inflation, and that's exactly what's happening. And everybody's like, well, fuck, well, why don't we have fucking inflation? We don't have inflation. We don't have inflation. And then MMT says, yeah, don't worry about it. Just keep printing. Keep printing. Yeah, we'll worry about inflation when it gets here. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just keep, yeah, but <laughs> you're not going to get inflation because all you're going to get is inflation in, in, in asset prices. That's where you're going to see inflation, okay? And you'll never see it in the functional economy because all you're doing is creating inequality. Deficits are funding the household so they can dissave to business so business can have a profit. Okay, so what you want to see, this is the this is the catcher. The way it's supposed to work is that business profits and savings turn into investment back into the household, and then that gives you profits and savings and investment back into the functional economy in an ecosystem feedback loop. And that's the way it's supposed to work. Okay, not with deficit. You don't fund the household with just endless fucking deficits because all you're doing is pushing all those dollars into the non-productive savings and asset prices and that's when they go up that's the way it, you know it, it is right now and they want more of it that's why mmt is a neoliberal cult all they give a shit about it, just keep printing baby keep printing we'll keep sending it into the savings bubble and we're going to keep pushing up asset prices. We'll never get inflation. If we do, we'll just reduce the, the deficits. As if that's going to work. You're just going to flip a switch and boom, that's that's the way it's done. So be careful with these fucking clowns. All right? They're fake. They're neoliberals. That's it, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.